Hey, Cranky Caniners. Um, talking about muzzle training, okay? A lot of you guys uh, maybe don't need a muzzle, but it's still something to consider. So I muzzle train all my dogs, even if they're sweethearts. Because when, I don't know, they get cranky, all right? Maybe they have pain in their body. Maybe they hurt themselves. And then you need to touch them. You need to pick them up. You need to get them to the vet, whatever it is. Or maybe you go to the vet and they're usually doll babies, but then all of a sudden there's fear and anxiety because they went to the doc and they start snarling and not being so friendly. In those scenarios, the vet is going to use a muzzle. The groomer is going to use a muzzle. They're being paid for that time. They have to get the job done right now. Grab a muzzle, put it on the dog, do the gig. Now, a muzzle takes away their bite, takes away, it's like, that's like taking away your hands. So being put in a muzzle is like being put in handcuffs for a human. And it feels really assault-ish, okay? It feels like assault to the dog. It feels like they're being subdued and held down. So I like to create a positive scenario with the muzzle before we actually have to do it, all right? I like them to be trained on it so that they go, oh, this is no big deal. I wear these all the time way before the time that you're actually going to need to use it. So we use um, Jafco muzzles, J-A-F-C-O, Jafco.com. All right, that's my favorite. Um, these Baskervilles aren't bad, but they're not going to like these at the vet. So I don't really recommend these Baskervilles. These are fine for our need here at Cranky Canine, which is going to be training or doing dog socialization, working dog aggressive uh, dogs. But for a veterinarian, they're not going to like this type of muzzle because the fingers can slip through these little gaps. And so you're better off with a Jafco because a Jafco is an all-purpose muzzle, J-A-F-C-O. All right, now what you're going to do is all you're going to do, you're going to get some peanut butter, you're going to get a knife, you're going to grab the peanut butter and wipe it on the inside of this thing, all around the inside of it. Then you're going to allow the dog to come in and lick the peanut butter. You aren't even gonna act as if this thing has any straps. You're gonna ignore the fact that these straps exist, all right? Do not strap it on even to see if it fits. The second that you use those straps, you will be telling the dog, this is a pair of handcuffs, sorry. You're trying to hide the fact that these are handcuffs. You're trying to make the dog think it's just a food dish. You start with peanut butter, um, that Jafco, doesn't have as many holes in it so it, you can take their dog food twice a day you guys feed uh, a meal and you can just drop it in here and let them eat it out of it drop it in here and let them eat it out of it and just eat food peanut butter treats all kinds of stuff out of this thing until you notice that the dog loves this thing you know when you pick up the leash and the dog gets all excited because he thinks it's time to go for a walk i want to see that same response with the muzzle when you guys go pick it up off the counter i want him to go oh look it's muzzle time i love the muzzle muzzle means peanut butter it means food it means treats let's do it all right then and only then can we move to the next step last time i believe i showed you guys how to use peanut butter in like kind of get her to eat the peanut butter out and, and she does seem like she's doing a little better come here baby dog all right, so come on. I want her to put her face in, and then instead of eating inside the muzzle, I'm gonna mark with a little noise. Oh, right here. Oh, and then pay outside of the muzzle. So just leave it here and say muzzle. Now look here, you see how she kind of hesitates? I'm gonna make sure that she puts her face in. All the way in. Perfect. You see that? So she she kind of hesitates right there. She's thinking I'm gonna pay her for just looking at it or getting near it, but she has to put her face all the way in. Come here, babe. There's the treat. I'll put the treat in there to help her. Oh, good. Then I want her to, and I'm gonna feed her out of it. So, oh, nice. That's my goal. What she just did. Oh, I want her to put it on. You see? Good, now she's got it. Oh, now I'm noticing that if I put the treat behind my back, it's almost like if it's here, she stares at it. So I'm putting it behind my back and that seems to help. Oh, perfect. Look at you. Oh, nice. Oh, good. 
Somebody else might use a yes for a marker. It's really whatever you're comfy with and whatever she remembers and knows. I'll show you how that works. Yes. Perfect. Same thing. Not much difference. Yes. All right. Somebody else might use a clicker, just a difference in style. Yes. Look at you. You're getting in it. One more time. That's the end of it. It'll be the last one. I promise. I'm all out of treats. Yes. Perfect. You did it. You did so good. What's the that to your mom? Oh, yeah, what's the that to your mom and dad? No cutie. What we're going to do is we're going to hold it out and she's going to put it in. This is just like the last video, except for I'm going to add a little movement to it so that she has to chase the muzzle in order to put her face in it. Okay. So, oh, good. Now we're going to move and see how she has to, oh, move towards it. Good. Oh, good. So nothing different, right? She's putting her face in, I'm marking and paying, but the muzzle moves and she has to chase it. Oh, good. So it becomes a fun game. Oh, nice job, baby. Oh, good. Oh, oh, good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. First thing I'm gonna do is check and make sure that this stuff is working well, because I'm not, I don't ever move on to the next step unless the dog is totally into this, right? So uh, first step, we fed peanut butter out of it. Second step, we marked and paid outside of the muzzle. And then now we're playing this fun game of, I say the word muzzle, she runs, puts her face in it. Hershey, muzzle. Oh yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> So you see it that way, your word Hershey, when I said Hershey muzzle, it worked like a recall. Hershey muzzle, oh yeah. So she likes it and she knows that's the target. She's gonna come in and hit it. Now we're ready for the next right, stage. So the next stage is I'm gonna ask her to do it while holding a sit stay, all right? So when the dog's holding a sit stay, it's focusing on something completely other than the muzzle and it understands already that it's not supposed to move. So when I've got my dog in a sit stay, they're just sitting there thinking, don't move, don't move, don't move. And the muzzle just becomes a distraction to the exercise. Just, just the same as if I were to teach her to do a sit stay in front of a squirrel or a bird, and she had to sit there and ignore the distraction even though she was um, you know, right in front of it. So we're gonna put the muzzle on and we're gonna see if we can get her to hold in the sit stay even though she's wearing the muzzle. Guys, this is the first time that I'm ever gonna use the strap. This is the very first time I'm actually gonna strap it on. Hershey. Heel. Come in. Sit. Good. Treat. All right. Hershey. Stay. Now, I don't know how wonderful her stays are. Pretty sure that it's been a while since I've worked with her. But she's had a lot of training. There she goes, breaking it. Good. Muzzle. Oh, boy. First time strapping it on, actually using the straps, you guys. All right, so now it's on. Uh-oh, this thing's weird. It's got like a little lock thing. You're all right, baby. Oh, cute. Now let's see if we can get her to take a treat through the muzzle. She did. That was good, honey. She, good. Now let's go ahead and take it off before she freaks out on us. Oh, good, Hershey. Yeah, I'll give her a treat. Oh, she's still taking the food, so it didn't bother her too much. Now let's see after that experience if she'll still recall to the muzzle. Did she hate it so much that it caused a fear? Because that can happen. Hershey, muzzle. Oh, good. Oh, nice. Perfection. 